Hey guys, what's up? Carl Plankin with Plankins Networking and uh, Preston Bailey with Plankins Networking as well, except for he's not recording a video today. We are both in the studio. I Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, host multiple websites on IIS and Windows 8. This is the same thing for Windows 7, Vista, I believe XP, and 2008 R2. You know, it's the same pretty much with any server running IIS. So, first thing you're going to want to do, first thing I like to do personally at least, is figure out what the domain name is you're going to do. For me, I'm going to come into my sites for Internet Information Services and just click add a website, and I'm just going to do a random domain. So, I'm going to type in random. We'll actually do an actual one. We'll do donkeykong.com now we want to assign a physical path for this I for me I'm just gonna do c slash websites slash donkey Kong and I'll assign that uh, folder for me it'll create it by itself then I'm going to give the domain name www.donkeykong.com We're going to port forward this to port 80 so you can do this with uh, the port 80 you don't have to change the port to a different number uh, Okay, apparently I need to create that folder Okay, so, so I've created that folder. This will. Okay, apparently not. Just copy and put this into there. Okay, and now that we have that website added, we're just going to come here and uh, refresh this. You can do that by pressing F5, it pops up right there. And we're going to add another one. We'll add Mario Kart. Dot com. And we'll do the same thing except for we'll change this to Mario Kart. Com. Okay, then we're going to come back to this, I guess, and create the folder. Uh, for some reason, it is making me, but you guys shouldn't have to. I'm pretty sure. Because I've ne never had to do that before. I'm not sure why it's making me this time. But we're also going to assign the IP address down here for that. I can give it a name www.mariocart.com. Click OK. Pops up under here. So, next thing we're going to want to do is edit our, our host file. You guys, I already have this open, but you can find this by going to C. I I'll actually have the. I'll have that displayed, but I'll show you guys how to do it. So, you can go to your Windows drive, slash Windows, slash System. 32 slash drivers slash etc and uh, on some computers this might not show under drivers for example on mine I uh, it's actually a hidden folder for some reason sometimes I right now have it shown because I have that option turned on so you guys come into here after you open this you're gonna want to run this with administrative rights so you're gonna want to open it with notepad with admin rights or notepad plus plus so we're going to give it the IP address of what this computer is. For me, that is 12. And then we're going to type in the domain name, www.mariocart.com. And then give the second website the domain name. We're going to change this. Let me add uh, donkeykong.com. Then we're going to save it by pressing Control S. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, we're actually going to open a new Notepad++. Actually, uh, whoops. I think I can just do that from here. New. Okay. And we're going to call this title MarioCart.com. 
because we will need to know if these are working or not. So we're going to have to create a page. H1. It works. And we're going to save this. Save as. index.html so we're going to save this one for Mario Kart and then we're going to come over here and change this to donkeypong.com then come up here click save as and instead of doing it up here we're going to go to Donkey Kong and save it as in index.html here as well then we're going to close this because we're done with that and the next thing we want to do is open our web browser. So we're going to do two things. We're going to open Chrome, and then I'm also going to open Command Prompt. I want to ping MarioCart.com and make sure that's pointing to us. And it's actually not. So what you guys can do to fix this, if it's not pinging to you, is restart the website. So restart both of the ones that you've then I'm not sure if I did that one, so I restarted it anyways. And I come here and type in www.mariocart.com. And it works. So as you can see, it's pointing to our domain, uh, our server, not our domain, well, our host file domain. Now if we type in donkeycon.com, this one should also say it works. And there you have it, you guys. That is how you host two separate websites. Uh, actually, just to show you guys that they're separate, I'll change one of them. I'll just put, because uh, this is the last one we had open, I'll just put a bunch of random stuff here. And uh, that'll pop up on the Donkey Kong one, but this won't pop up onto Mario Kart. So that is how you guys can tell that it is two different ones, that and also the titles to DonkeyKong.com. So that's all for today's video, you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to like. Uh, don't forget to drop a comment below letting me know what you think about the video. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Also, you guys can check out our Patreon, our Facebook, and our Twitter accounts. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Yeah.